One of the ways you and I can take care of ourselves is to quit doing things that make us go nuts. We make us go nuts. We go into the store and panic buy. We get all caught up on the news cycle that is endlessly repeating all kinds of ideas about what may or may not happen. We get involved in a technology process that kind of separates us from what really matters uh, deep within us. So if we're going to take care of ourselves, we have to figure out what makes us nuts and what makes us sane. Today around corporate, we had a couple of little kids laughing. And I heard some kids laughing and I smiled. That's what life is about. It's about our families laughing. It's about individuals around us that we care about. That's what really matters. That's what grounds us. What do we believe about who we are? What do we believe about what really matters? You and I have to stay grounded during these times of uncertainty. It's very, very easy for us to get hit by the next wave of what we hear the government is doing or somebody thinks about what the government is doing. None of that is usually particularly helpful to us. Whether or not we get sick or not has nothing necessarily to do with what we've heard about on TV. What's going to happen is going to happen. I'm threatened by it because of my age, just like many of you are, because you know people within the target zone. The key is that we deal with our concerns in a way that's limited, controlled, and compassionate versus allowing it to so overwhelm us that we're not available to the people around us. So as we go forward in this day, let's you and I decide what calms us down, what makes us feel good, what's a good way of taking care of ourselves, and what are the ways that you and I should avoid that actually right now just simply make us go nuts. And we have a responsibility to take care of ourselves and let those things that create more stress within us, put those aside and move towards those things that ground us, help us feel good about ourselves in life and give us hope for the future. You're a strong individual. You have a lot of talents and skills. Life doesn't have to be negative for us despite the negative circumstances that we're in. We can feel a deep sense of peace and contentment as we relax our way through the various circumstances each of us must face. Until we talk again, take it easy. Remember, hang in there, keep the faith, we will get through this together.